Hello and welcome, George Crump with Storage Switzerland. Uh, today we are going to be testing, at least uh, initially, our uh, first look at the Promise Technology Pegasus R4. This is a Thunderbolt attached uh, array. Uh, it's supposed to give incredible performance, so we're looking forward to checking that out. Uh, the configuration uh, that Promise sent us has four one terabyte drives in it. Uh, and so we'll go ahead and start kicking the, uh, the tires on this unit and see what uh, uh, we can find out. Uh, very excited about this. A couple things we can confirm right off the bat uh, is that you can use the, um, uh, the daisy chaining in, thunder, in the Thunderbolt technology to daisy chain in a um, older uh, Mac uh, uh, mini display. Uh, it worked just fine, so th that part works great. Uh, I want to thank the guys at Apple for uh, pointing that out to me. And, of course, we want to thank the folks at uh, Promise Technology for sending us a unit to, to evaluate. So with that stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the interface. The software comes uh, installed on the um, uh, drive when it comes up. You just install it, and it's ready to go. Uh, you can see here, this is our first glance at it, really. But you can see here we've got a quick overview of system status and how everything's working. Um, how the uh, different uh, how the system's working from an, an event standpoint, uh, and just a, a summary of the devices. Um, so you can see we're totally set up for a, um, a four terabyte uh, RAID uh, configuration. So everything's looking good there. Uh, we can uh, go in and. Uh, go through the different wizards if we wanted to. We can look at the physical disk attributes. Um, we can uh, look at the array itself. We can look at what the logical drive is. You can see right now it's uh, synchronizing. Uh, we've got it set up as a RAID 5. Uh, again, this uh, system came pre-configured for us. Uh, in, in the setup, we can go back in and maybe we will later uh, and change some of the configurations. Uh, you can see there's some subsystem information and then, of course, a, a summary of events. Um, uh, and then there's our different background uh, activities. So, very straightforward, uh, great interface, by the way, very Mac like. Uh, uh, I like to see that uh, in a system. Um, one of the things we'll do as we, as we uh, evaluate this unit is we'll go into a deeper dive on all those different things. But let's wrap up this uh, first test with uh, just creating uh, and doing a performance test. Now, as we know, that there, there is some synchronization happening right now, so this might not be a uh, great test of performance, but uh, I, I'm not sure if I can wait. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. So we just, uh, just for uh, speed sake, we use a product called XBench. Um, it'll do a quick CPU test first and then do uh, various uh, read-write tests. So there's the numbers right there. You can see that uh, in the various tests, we're getting uh, some pretty darn impressive numbers. Uh, that's um, that's pretty good. Uh, we have a uh, a third-party solid-state drive in here um, as well. So let's do a comparison uh, to that uh, in real time as we look at it. Okay, and there you have it. Um, the uh, uncached write performance is significantly faster than an internal solid state disk drive. Um, the larger block size writes are still slightly faster. Uh, reads, as you would actually expect, of course, uh, solid state uh, performs a little bit better uh, than the, um, th than the uh, array does. 
uh, let's see. And then from a, a right per uh, a random right perspective, uh, in 4K rights, which I think is really the kind of the standard that I like to look at when I'm testing things, uh, you can see that the uh, array outperforms a, a solid state drive. Um, it also outperforms it on the larger uh, block uh, writes. And then once again, random reads, as you would expect, uh, the solid state drive performs uh, very, very well. Uh, and it also performs very well in even the larger blocks. So very, very impressive performance. Uh, again, almost unfairly, we're comparing this to a, a mechanical drive. Uh, we're comparing a mechanical system to a solid state system, but thanks to the engineering behind the uh, Promise Array and of course just the power of the Thunderbolt interface, we're seeing incredible performance. And of course, uh, this drive is uh, is nowhere near the uh, three terabytes of capacity that the, the, the other system has. So interesting, interesting results. Uh, we will, and, and also remember, we've got a synchronization going on while this is happening. So uh, come back for a follow-up and we will uh, test the system uh, once again without the synchroniz the initial synchronization happening. So uh, this is a very impressive test. Um, uh, good. Uh, my my congratulations to the the Promise Technology team. Okay, so that's it from uh, Storage Switzerland's perspective on, on this uh, initial results. Uh, very very positive. Plugged right in. It was ready to go. My older display worked perfectly. Uh, you know, there's a lot to like here. Uh, we're very impressed with uh, what we're seeing. And uh, we will uh, do a couple more follow-ups uh, here in the near future to. Uh, just show you how the system is working and then also run the performance test without synchronization. George Crump tuning out. Uh, please uh, check back in frequently.